This Alienware review is brought to you today by Kiwi Reviews. This Dell Alienware laptop 17 inch was deployed on June the 19th, 2013. I like to think of it as more born on 2013, June 19th, being an alien, but um, deployed is the way that they want to call it, and that's what the label says on the bottom. The label, I might add, is a very nice mach machined metal brushed aluminium with nice specific screws just for the nameplate. Now how many other computers can you think of that have that kind of detail? Now if you look this model up on the Dell website, you'll note that it is um, advertised as the, the, highest, the highest end one, uh, which um, comes with the i7 4800 processor, I believe. But this one actually packs a little more punch. It comes provided with the 4930MX. It's got NVIDIA GeForce GTX 780M, that's got four gigabytes of GDDR5. Audio is provided by Klipsch, which if you know anything about audio, it's uh, pretty darn good. And it's also got fitted 16 gig of DDR3 uh, main uh, RAM memory running at 1600 megahertz. Now you'll note a really nice color array when you boot these up. Uh, the touchpad there is glowing a nice blue at the moment, the Alienware logo and the keyboard and also along the sides and along the front. Now just on the side here it's um, it's in green on the back it is following the multicolor trend. The power supply plug that plugs into the actual side of the laptop um, has a, a, a light ring as well. Now I was quite excited with that. I said wow they've really like pushed the boat out but that one just stays solid blue. But that's fine I mean it's it's a really nice touch. You know straight away that you've got power to the laptop which Usually you then have to say fill the power supply, you'd have to make sure it's plugged in. This way, blue light, it's obvious, there's power there. Lifting up the side here, you can see um, it, they've stuck with the green um, Alienware lights for this particular theme. That theme carries on along the front and also along the left side as well. Now running a few speed tests on this, I didn't uh, run any sort of CPU benchmarking or anything like that. I just used it for like real world use. Um, I found that doing things like uh, playing games turned everything up to absolutely the fullest resolution that I could possible. I didn't see any drop frames, it wasn't stuttering, it wasn't jerking around at all. It was running really well. Um, uh, and I also wanted to test out just basic usage like things like opening YouTube, running multiple uh, YouTube windows at once. And as you'll see later on, um, it, it doesn't skip a beat. I, I open three or four windows and they all cache up and start playing individually really quickly and really well. Um, I'm pretty bad at this game. I haven't worked out how to turn left or right. So all I can do is strafe left and move forward, strafe left, go back and jump. Now all this is made possible speed wise and throughput without delay um, in, mainly in part is due to having um, as few bottlenecks as possible. In any system there's always going to be a bottleneck um, and they've minimized it as much as possible. In this one in particular, it's running an SSD drive uh, with 80 gigabytes of um, cached SSD. Now that's, um, that's huge. SSD is basically solid state technology. Um, there's no platters, there's no spin up, there's nothing, there's no delay, ideally. And as you can see in the video here, this dude's doing some geocaching. It looks like it's video fit in there, but it's not. It is running on the laptop. Uh, I just maximized it there and it was it looked really good and really flawless. Can't really fault the video because of course I asked it to play in 720p but who knows what it was really uploaded in. Now coming back to the price, people are going to buy this for one reason only, well maybe two. One if they've got lots of money and they just want to be a poser or two if they are actually a hardcore gamer and they do want to take along to LAN meetings and do gaming, that's what this is going to excel at. You're not going to get this being sold by some corporate who wants to take it on the train and check his emails on the way to work. It's simply too big and clunky for that. The power supply alone um, is a, it sucks a gigantic 12 and a half amps at potential full load. Now that, that is the biggest I've ever seen. So I mean yes sure it's heavy. Um, it's a 17 inch. You've got a nice screen but um, ideally it's uh, horses for courses and um, I would say that it's what this is suited for. It does the job well. This particular model will not give you much change out of $5,000 New Zealand dollars, but you can get into the entry 17-inch Alienware laptops for around the 3250 mark. Obviously, prices will vary and options will vary also.
And this was just a quick video review for you just to see it in action, see it light up, see how it moves, get a feel for it. Um, head on over to kiwireviews.co.nz uh, to check out the uh, full written review and um, see what we thought of it.